The unit, known as the Ghost Army, was made up of 1,100 American artists, designers, and sound engineers. It was instrumental in defeating Hitler in World War II. Between D-Day, the U.S. Army's Normandy landings, and the Battle of the Bulge, the Phantom Army conducted more than 20 operations. During World War II, the Allied Army created a tactical unit, officially called the 23rd Special Unit. Its mission was to mislead the enemy. The weapon of the unit of special soldiers was creativity. The story of the unit, which set up more than 20 fake battlefields very close to the front line, but with was kept secret until 1996 because it was a military secret. Before starting their artistic careers, many artists served in the 23rd Special Troops during World War II. Selected from art schools and advertising agency employees, these special soldiers were able to gracefully bring their art to the battlefield. The average IQ of the members of the Ghost Army was 119. The carefully selected team for the Phantom Army included artists, advertisers, radio broadcasters, sound specialists, actors, architects, and set designers. Fashion designer Bill Blass, painter and sculptor Ellsworth Kelly, still life painter Arthur Singer and photographer Art Kane, to name a few. The Phantom Army sent out misleading frequencies during wartime they even mimicked the original style of the operators to lend authenticity to their false reports. In some cases, sound engineers played the sounds of pre-recorded military exercises, which could be heard up to 25 kilometers away with huge loudspeakers. The unit carried out its first major deception in 1944. Participating in Operation Brittany, they deployed 50 dummy tanks and sound trucks within a few hundred meters of the front line in the siege of the French port of Brest. In this way, they succeeded in misleading the Germans about the position of the Third Army, which under the command of General George Patton had escaped from the enemy and was advancing into eastern France. From the air, Dusseldorf looked like two divisions of 3,000 soldiers, but there were only 1,100 men. The false division convinced the Germans that an attack was imminent behind the Rhine. They also used radio signals. After broadcasting messages that troops were advancing, they moved the fake divisions forward. The actors, the scenery, the sound, the script, everything was perfect. They even set up fake headquarters to mislead the spies. The Phantom Army carried out its most elaborate deception in March 1945 as part of Operation Viersen. As the 9th Army prepared for a dangerous crossing of the Rhine, the Phantom Army deployed about 15 kilometers south of the planned landing point to distract and divert the Germans. Here they used Deception to disguise themselves as two divisions and 4,000 soldiers, making themselves appear much larger than they actually were. The Phantom Army played loud trucks, sounds of bridge construction, artillery fire, and even sounds from a movie with sergeants shouting obscenities. The Phantom Army built fake headquarters and outposts commanded by fake commanders and generals. In March 1945, German troops had retreated behind the Rhine. The Allies were able to deceive their enemies with the fake divisions designed by these special units. According to military estimates, 30 members of the Phantom Army were wounded and three were killed. In contrast, the unit saved the lives of between 15,000 and 3,000 American soldiers.